Mandy Joy is looking for answers. She's an oceanographer from the University of Georgia. Her team of researchers studies the environment in the most remote parts of the Gulf of Mexico, places where oil seeps naturally from the vast pools of petroleum locked deep beneath the sea floor. Over the years, Joy has visited numerous sites where animals have adapted to an oily existence. Places where microscopic organisms eat tiny droplets of oil. These natural seeps are incredibly diverse and they're teeming with life. Every single dive is filled with wows and ahas and holy cows and can you believe that? Oh my God, look at this, look at that. The bad aha moment was when we really started looking hard at some of the animals. We saw oiled and dead corals. We saw oiled and dead sea fans. All the filter feeding organisms were clearly impacted by the sedimented oil. A sea fan that's a few feet tall could be 500 years old, been happily surviving and is now covered in brown slime and is dead. These organisms who filter feed and who are who are not selective filters, feeders, they're not going to spit the oil out. They're going to just filter whatever comes past them. Um, they're, they're being damaged. We saw two crabs, both of which had the darkened carapaces, and they all were just covered in these, in these barnacles. And when we brought that crab up, um, we picked some of the barnacles off and, and looked at them under the microscope, and their guts were filled with this orangey, oily looking residue. That, to me, was a very just sort of somber message. The dive to the bottom of the Gulf confirmed Joy's worst fears. She found oil, and lots of it. Since the oil spill in 2010, Joy has made 17 such dives to the floor of the Gulf. And along the way, a question she is often asked is simply this. Nearly six years after the blowout, what is the state of the Gulf? The answer is we don't know fully yet. I think in, in many aspects, the, the, the Gulf is certainly resilient and it, it, has, it has responded incredibly to, to this very, very large and significant perturbation. But I do believe that there are things that we don't know the answer to yet.